Hey weirdos, it's Darren, and uh, this is not something that I typically post on my YouTube channel or in my social media. Uh, this is actually a script that I just voiced for you for a YouTube client by the name of Factsverse. Uh, many of you probably already are subscribed to them. They've got several million subscribers, and I just happen to narrate for them. I don't normally share the audio from what I'm doing for them because obviously it's intended for their channel, but this was so important when I was reading it, I thought everybody needs to hear this. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. I hope, I'm, I'm sure Facts First would be okay, but uh, also be sure to look for Facts First on YouTube uh, and that way you can subscribe for their videos. I think they would really appreciate it and I would too because you'd actually be supporting me in the process. But anyway, this is very, very important. I wanted to share it with you, especially if you are of the female persuasion, and you will understand why as you listen. Factsverse presents, This woman was being followed by an unmarked police car, and what she did saved her life. In today's world, you have to be very careful. There are people out there who are out to hurt you, or worse, there are a lot of things that you shouldn't do. You should never walk alone at night. You should never take rides from strangers. Never ever pull over for an unmarked police car unless you are in a public, well-lit area. Yeah, you should always keep an eye on your surroundings, even if you are busy doing something. There are plenty of people in the world who are criminals and even criminally insane. Due to prison overcrowding, technicalities, and short prison terms for violent offenders, these people are being let out onto the streets again, and many of them should never have been allowed to get back on the streets. Many are violent offenders. These are the people who make the world a dangerous place. Well, this woman was being followed by an unmarked police car, and what she did next is genius. She knew something just wasn't right. Lauren was driving home one night, and an unmarked police car was behind her and turned on its lights. Lauren's parents had always told her that she should never pull over on the side of the road even for an unmarked police car. They told her that she should always drive to a gas station or a public place that's well lit and where people are around. Well, when Lauren saw the lights in her rearview mirror, she remembered her parents' warning and decided to listen. She knew that she couldn't just keep driving forever, though. The last thing she needed was the police thinking she was taking them on a high-speed chase. But when Lauren decided that she was not going to pull over, she called 112 on her cell phone. When she was patched over to the police dispatcher, she told him that there was an unmarked police car with their lights on trying to get her to pull over. She let the dispatcher know that she would not be able to pull over right away. The dispatcher told her to hold while checking if there were any police cars in that area. When the dispatcher saw that there were no cars in the area, she got back on the line with Lauren and she told Lauren to remain calm and keep driving. She also told her not to pull over, and that backup was on the way. A short time later, four marked police cars pulled up behind Lauren and the unmarked car. One of the policemen pulled up beside Lauren, and the other three surrounded the unmarked car. The officer that pulled off to the side of Lauren told her to remain in her vehicle. Lauren watched in her rearview mirror, and she saw the officers grab the man from his car and throw him on the ground. After they put the handcuffs on him, they took him to the police car and put him in the back seat. Turned out, the man who was trying to pull Lauren over was not a police officer. In fact, he was wanted by the police. He was a convicted rapist who was also wanted for other crimes. At that moment, Lauren was so thankful that her parents gave her the advice they did. If not, the outcome would have been much worse. Today, Lauren tells all of her friends and family members to dial 112 if they are in trouble like she was. Dialing 112 will put you in direct contact with state troopers. Situations like Lauren's are scary. You're supposed to trust the police officers who are on the streets protecting your community. The fact that a convicted rapist was impersonating a police officer? That should scare every woman out there. Lauren thought on her feet, and she managed to escape something that could have been tragic. Had there been another car in front of the man in the unmarked car that night, and the driver's parents never gave her those rules about pulling over for an unmarked car, who knows what would have happened to her. If you're ever out on the road and you don't trust something that's going on, pick up your cell phone and dial 911 or 112. 
it can save your life. Save someone else's life today. Share this video with them, especially if they're a female friend of yours, and subscribe for more. And now you know why it was important that I shared that with you. So thanks a lot, and hope you're having a great evening. God bless.